Hi, it's Dave. Recently, I had a conversation with Gally from the YouTube channel HyperChange. In this video, I'm going to share an excerpt where we talk about the biggest risks facing Tesla and what that means for Tesla shareholders. On another note, tomorrow I will release the full conversation that I had with Gally in another video. You know, we talk about often the potential of Tesla, et cetera, but like, what about the risks of Tesla? Um, like, personally, I think, like, in some ways, the higher the valuation that Tesla is at, there, it poses actually a, a, there's some benefit because they're, they're able to raise money, you know, uh, easier. They have like bigger market cap, um, more credibility, et cetera. But on the flip side, there's, there's, a lot of expectations built into that valuation, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, how do you see the risks of Tesla yeah. going forward? Like, do you, are you concerned about any of them? Like, do you see one of them as particularly kind of like standout-ish or? So, yeah, so the biggest risk for Tesla were threefold. There was mm -hmm. the financial risk, uh, there mm -hmm. was the fleet-wide hack or autopilot crashing risk and Elon Musk dying risk, mm -hmm. frankly. I'm just being straight out. These are the three risks. Financial mm -hmm. risk is off the table. That's mm -hmm. perceived solvency. They were reliant in the capital markets, believing they would succeed to be able to continue raising money to fund their business plan. Now they can mm -hmm. fund themselves internally. That's huge. Changes the game. Uh, structurally, the cash flow profile of Tesla has a massive de-riskment. I think the equity markets are frankly a lot smarter than people give them credit for, and that's why that the equity value of Tesla went up. So it was like, yeah, the chance of them going to Chew Trill is almost like assured the second their financial thing works. So the second mm -hmm. the Model 3 works, like of course the Model Y is going to work. And so you can kind of like, extrapolate a lot of those cash flows but mm -hmm. um so that's been solved that's amazing but you look at mm -hmm. risk at tesla fleet-wide hack everything's connected they're testing this autopilot software if they move too fast it hacks it gets bad press that's i think a lot of the risk there but i think you know they have a world-class enterprise cybersecurity team that's going to try and handle that mm -hmm. second thing elon musk every company mm -hmm. i want to invest in if they don't have a key man clause if your key man dies and your company is still fine i don't want to invest because it's not going to be a game-changing company you need mm -hmm. a visionary at the helm who is a key man. And mm -hmm. so that is just Tesla. And so, mm -hmm. you know, as there's so little risk and it's so going well that it's sad to say that that is the, the, the like to me, really the biggest risk. Something happens to Elon. Okay. So, okay. So something happening to Elon, like how do you like process that? Do you think it's just such a small risk that you don't really, you know, think about it and it's just kind of not really, you know, a big concern or do you actually think it's a legitimate, you know, something to be concerned about? I price it into the discount rate of my Tesla stock, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but, um, but like I said, like, it's, it's just like, you can't have it any other way. You're not going to have mm -hmm. the best visionary CEO in the world. Who's not a key man. So I just mm -hmm. don't overthink it. And I'm like, yeah, like he's got security, you know, he's young. Elon mm -hmm. Musk has 20 years ahead of him to crush it mm -hmm. or 10 years. Of, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, like what happens if Elon dies? Like suddenly, yeah. oh I, sorry, sorry for bringing this up. And, oh, and no, this is, no, 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 sorry, man. Like, and, oh, and no. let's not, no, let, no, 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 but seriously. Okay. So investor. Yeah. Okay. Like, I don't know. And, okay. I want to, 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 I want to qualify this by saying like, you know, I'm like, you know, by far, like I love Elon and want the best for me. I hope that he lives, you know, the longest life possible. And this is- But he would want us to do this analysis. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Elon is an investor. Sure, sure, his own company, exactly. Would think yeah, so and this is in no way personal or any way, like this is purely on a investment type of analytical approach. Like what if, you know, Elon is out of the equ equation, what happens to Tesla and the company, the valuation, the, the path forward, like what's your take? Financially successful is huge. I think that means they're going to be fine. And mm -hmm. frankly, you got Drew, you got Jerome, you got Martin, you have a culture of 40,000 people. I mean, I think this keeps crushing it. You know, it's still going to change the world. That to me is, is, is the biggest, brightest news of like these past two years. I don't mm -hmm. think the world's going like this, but Tesla's going like this. Tesla went from like this thing that nobody thought was going to succeed to like, I'm like, no matter what, they're going to change the industry. Mm -hmm. Volkswagen, GM, whatever, they're already investing. Rivian's already putting the money. Bezos already wants to be Elon at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bezos can't wait to be the EV guy if Elon has the equation. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Uh -huh. You know, like, yeah. it's so to me, the, the actual victory of us changing the world, maybe it's now it's a question of how many years, 
mm -hmm. can really accelerate the transition off fossil fuels. Yeah. But the fact that Tesla is moving that needle and we have become the de facto force pushing this fossil fuel transition like away from fossil fuels faster, pushing mm -hmm. the whole auto industry to it, pushing battery technology forward, which increases the energy efficiency. Like to me, the the war's already been won. And mm -hmm. so uh, I think Tesla could frankly execute until 2030 and still road five trail, even without him. And that is, that's just like a testament to the work Elon's done to this point is because it would still, look at, look at Apple, you mm -hmm. know? I don't sure. think Tim Cook's really created all that value. Um, I think it's just, you know, these, these, as long as, you know, these things are hard to kill once you start them. Yeah, yeah. And change the world. Yeah, yeah. So five trill <laughs> in 2030 without Elon? You think that's possible even? Maybe. Maybe. But it's like, you know, I'm going to be waking up every day to analyze yeah, yeah. it, to figure out if they're on that track. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. exactly. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Um, yeah, I feel like in some ways, like short-term wise, I feel like if we're in like a kind of a high stock price area, then if Elon, let's say, un like suddenly passes or et cetera, we, I think we do have quite a, a, a large fall, um, short term wise, oh, especially, yeah, like if a, we're, yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, it won't be pretty. Um, if we are in a low stock price type of environment where, you know, moves pessimistic, et cetera, and Elon passes, then I don't think we have as much of a drop in my opinion, because I think there's certain value that's like intrinsic to Tesla and there's certain things that are more like highly likely even without Elon to happen. I think like if with Elon out of the equation, a lot of the optionality that I value in Tesla disappears in some ways or is much harder to 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 be to be realized. And what I mean is for example like with Elon at the helm, it's like so many things are possible that we haven't even thought about right now, you know? Yes. And I, I, this is the perfect time to change the subject to like, mm, go for it. it's not about if Elon goes away or in a negative way. It's like, this is why we love Elon. Sure, because sure. This, exactly. This is how much value he adds. E exactly. Yeah. never expiring call option of the greatest e inventor of all time. Exactly. Cash flows we get in perpetuity because we own this stock. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's what I'm talking about, right? You've got this guy who has figured it out how to create value from nothing. You know, like he's, he's, he's figured out the principles where he's like, Hey, you find out, you know, you, you, you get in touch with technology, you see, you, you create value. You have this awesome team of the smartest people in the world come together. You push them with tangible goals, you know, uh, and you fund them and you lead them with inspiration and you get like some amazing things that can happen. And he's just reproducing this model, you know, like over and over with, with Boring Company, with Neuralink, with whatever. And and he's doing that inside Tesla, but people aren't kept fully catching it, you know? Like he's starting all of these new ventures, new companies in a sense, inside oh, Tesla. Yeah. And people like, it's so out of the box. They, they can't get it because it, it looks like just one company, Tesla. And it looks like just cars right now. But behind the scenes, Elon is just like doing the same thing, starting all these new ventures inside the, inside the, inside the company that aren't fully like realized in value yet, you know? Um, and some of them take a long time. Like for example, solar roof, it's like, oh yeah, yeah. I was at the, at the reveal and I'm like, Hey, this is going to take a while to, 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 to get better and for it to grow and ramp. Cause I'm like, it's a, it's a hard product. Like this thing is, is, is tough. Like if I was like, in this business, I wouldn't want to do it because it's like so daunting to make a, a roof that's like stable and doesn't have problems and, and with doesn't even have a high margin in a sense, you know, it's just one of these like things that no one wants to get into, but Elon is like, this is a new company. Solar roof is a, is a new company, right? Tesla energy storage is a new company. Autonomy is a new company, you know, like Robotax, all this stuff. And like, I think we take for granted that a hey, you know all this stuff will like will will happen right and i think the more mature stuff and the stuff that has already kind of passed the tipping point will happen like for example autonomy will happen the vehicles will happen um, tesla energy will happen but there are a lot of things that are still like haven't passed that maturity point of to to have its own momentum and it needs kind of like the elon musk kind of like you know touch 
like for example, HVAC, you know, Tesla HVAC, like it's not going to, without Elon, yes. it, it might not happen, you know? It's like, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it, it's like Tesla RV, you know, without Elon, I don't know. With Elon, like, you know, lots of things can happen, like vertical takeoff and landing, landing jet. Like without Elon, this isn't happening, you know, at Tesla. With Elon, like there's a very good chance that, you know, like I peg it at like, you know, 70, 80% that, that actually goes under Tesla. Um, but all of this optionality, option call, the value of all this extra innovation and stuff, it, it does damper the company, in my opinion, in some ways, you know, and in significant ways. Like as you're talking about, it's like a discussion of how valuable Elon really is to the company, you know, like he is like a key man. Like he is bringing so much of that value to that company in terms of future possibility and growth. And that's why every, all, every dollar that he earns, every share of stock that he earns with his compensation plan is completely worth it, you know, because, oh, yeah. because he's delivering value that other people just can't, can't deliver. Like you take almost any other CEO in the world, stick him in the same spot, it's, it's going to be a completely different company and a completely different strategy, right? I mean, Elon carries with him... You know something that that um, that is rare. You know, and I think yeah, with, without him, um, I think Tesla, the more mature stuff does well, but we lose a lot of you know the the excitement, the the unlimited potential of the company. You know that that we have like that that captures our imagination in a sense right now.